Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nina. I'm Hayden. And we're back with another video. Yay! So, today we're just here to do a little chit chat about our life, life update. update. Yes. Where have we been? You guys must have been wondering what we've been doing for the last month. Obviously, it has been Ramadan on our side of the world as well as you guys know and we've just celebrated um, Hari Raya or Eid My first fasting Yes First yes. Ramadan Congratulations for you know fasting fully 30 days Oh everybody clap for Hayden Nailed it Yeah Hayden managed to fast like full on fast for 30 days and it was how many hours? 16 to 17 hours of fasting which is a, a couple of hours more than I'm used to fast which is in Malaysia would be just 12 hours it's like from 4 a.m. to 8 9? 4 to 8 4 to 8 9 8 to 9 p.m. yeah yes so it has been very challenging for us especially with timing and I think we needed some break from filming because it was kind of a struggle for us as we've mentioned in our previous previous videos that were a bit awkward to film like in um, our family's house because we're so used to our own little space that filming with people around us it's really hard even filming in public is hard enough for us mm. let alone like filming in a house with other people can't wait to film out either because of the lockdowns yeah so it's really bad only recently they used to a lot yeah our like daily schedule was like upside down so we would usually be awake like like sometime around Zohor or after Zohor which is like 12 or 1 or 2 we struggled with timing where we breakfast at half 8 or half 9 and then we would wait for Subo which is like around 3am in the morning yeah and it keeps it gradually get got like earlier, earlier and earlier yeah. Margaret timing gets gradually got later and later yeah I think Margaret now is like half nine. the first first week yeah yeah it was like 8 p.m for yeah. Margaret and then near the end is like 9 p.m yeah 9 15 9 15 past yeah. 9 even yeah. yeah so it was timing was a struggle for us basically so that was our ramadan month basically yeah. that's like a recap that we've been doing next time i'll experience ramadan <laughs> yeah properly i guess in malaysia with all the bazaar and food it's such a you know unfortunate event this year but what to do you can know if if tower at home as well yeah we had our eat at home it was very fairly simple uh, we had like we we ate ramen in the morning i ate Did ramen we? i think i ate ramen in the morning i ate some young i've been feeling like really sad because i can't celebrate eat like properly this year and I think I think it's fine if I can cook myself with all like if I have the things to cook, but I don't have the things to cook, so it was it was really hard. But Hayden's family has been really lovely, and they kind of celebrated Eid with us by having a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Not very traditional, but yeah. It works. But I feel like we would have barbecue style things. Oh really? In Eid like for like as I went down yeah stuff. they have like a barbecue goat a goat not goat what's kambing in english kambing kambing yeah sheep no they it's not a sheep the whole it's sheep goat or yeah yeah they we we would roast it and then we would have it for like uh food as eat food Hmm. Yeah, so it, technically it was the same, but our food was mostly a, aquatic. <laughs> so Western we had, style. Yeah, so we had chicken and like we kebabs. Had seafood as well. Mm -hmm. That was nice. And fast forward today, it's been, you know, for the past few days, we've noticed like a 
like a really drastic not really drastic but I guess kind of drastic ch- like growth of our channel we see oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> we've been getting we did nothing <laughs> yeah we and, and we're getting people following us yeah yeah and like for the last month I I got like we've got some comments every now and again like just like one in a week but now like recently we've get we we've, we've been getting lots of like comments and like likes or like just views as well like non stop for the last few days and i've been like looking at, at like my phone and i've just been like low key panicking telling hayden like oh my god look at like all this like you know people coming from where i don't know so if you guys are new here thank you so much and like we're very, we we really appreciate that you guys are here but yeah that's how you do it you do nothing and your channel goes yeah <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite cool that you guys just randomly join us yeah hopefully there'll be more of us in if more of us i mean like um <laughs> hopefully you guys will keep following us yeah for our youtube journey yeah why do i say yeah so many times i don't know i don't know you agree yeah but huh so we've been very blessed at least this past few days that we've been seeing a big bump in our channel so which made us more panic to make content because we feel like it's unfair if you know you guys are showing a lot of support and a lot of love to our channel and we're not doing anything so we hope that you know this following few weeks or like few days maybe we'll be posting more content hopefully in our channel try to <laughs> yeah like we're planning on like making like more uh relatable or like fun content for you guys but so stay tuned for that finger guns heavy on to the topic yeah <laughs> so today's topic is heavy drum roll it's ldr stuff so it's about long distance relationship stuff which we we did say a month ago that we wanted to do it but we did come mm. yeah It'll probably be some similar things to the last video I guess yeah but i guess long distance is heavier in a sense where we it's more harder than uh, keeping up with a normal, normal relationship. relationship and it's like you know relationship is hard enough like it's like that hard and then long distance is like at the LD like that yeah it's like that so like it's really big no well, it's a hard topic or like a hard thing to do but yes long distance we shall help you guys tackle the stuff yes <laughs> long distance we have been in a long distance relationship for 2 years or more than 2 years so sort of. more or less Two yeah, way more than two years. Yeah, two and a half years at least, and then it has been very challenging. Like it was so hard. Like we're not gonna sugarcoat anything because we're trying to be like you know all the YouTubers might say like we're trying to be transparent. You know. Yeah, we're gonna be realistic. Yeah, so we're gonna. Guys. Yeah, so it's like it's really hard. It was so hard for us. Like if you guys know the song. Simple plan. The what? How does it go? Why are you on about songs now? No, because it's literally what it says. Like the the jet lag. Yeah. Jet lag. Yeah, the song. There's a song, a simple plan song called Jet Lag, and the lyric just literally goes, "You say good morning when it's midnight." Yeah, that's what we did. Basically. But it's not midnight. <laughs> yeah. Not literally midnight. So we. There was still time for us to. Say hi. Yeah, we only have like for the day. six hours. We only spend six hours, or so at least eight, eight hours maximum together, and that is if one of us are not too busy with our day. Mm. Yeah. So usually my day would start like at eight or nine or ten, something like that, and then 
throughout the day I would just be doing my own thing socializing or do some if I'm working I'll be working or I'll just be doing anything to keep myself busy until 5 p.m. That's usually 5 to 6 p.m. usually is the time where Hayden would wake up and tell me to like you know text me. Is that like 7 to 8 hours I have yeah. Malaysia uh, compared to UK I think. Mm. Is it? Yes. Okay yeah. Is that like, I think like 5 if I text you at 5 it'll be like 10 minutes so then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adding it <laughs> yeah, it will be sim- something like that. So it will be. Eh? Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be 10 at your time. Or like 8 or 10 or 9 or 10 at your time. Wait, say 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> it will be like 7, 12. Ah, yeah, but basically, it will be morning on his side yeah, and I'll yeah. be like evening, like late evening on, this, on my side. So we would text around that time and okay it sounds easy enough but like the struggle is where <clears throat> like for example sometimes at night you know how malaysians or like asians lifestyle is like we don't really sleep at night so we would be hanging like usually if i am not socializing with people i yeah i would be home but because I was trying to adapt with Hayden's like our long distance like lifestyle so I would usually socialize from morning to evening and then from 6 p.m. onwards I would make time for Hayden that was when we learned how to make time for each other mm, okay so what activities we did yeah mm, pretty much we mostly played games back then didn't mm. we? we had Steam and League of Legends even yeah. though I, when I play from my side, it will lag a lot. <laughs> you played with like a hundred ping. Yeah, but I still. Ca- we still carry the game. I still destroy people. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't play League of Legends now as much. Mm. Well, Hayden still. Does. No, I don't play as much. I don't. I don't play at all it anymore. It's too much time. Yeah. To play now. I feel An like. Hour per game. I feel like the community. I don't think I can handle it too much. Mm, but League of Legends is quite. It's quite good for couples to play, I guess. Mm. Since you can team up. Yeah, that's true. Especially on like the bot lane. Yeah. If you guys play League of Legends, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's movies. Video calls. TV shows, anime. Mm. Like we watch that for like screen share. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's a like, websites that we used back then. Yeah. Things like called. Rabbit or something. Rabbit IO. Don't, or, know if, don't know if that still exists. I don't think so. Now they call themselves Cast IO, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But we. Or well, you could use Discord even. Yeah, now now Discord is okay. Back then it wasn't that great. Mm. But we. Yeah, we did a lot of things together. We try and spend as, as much time together. But the downside is being apart in a relationship is that you grow as a person and you as a person would be influenced by people around you so like you know you might change you want your own time i guess yeah to so do stuff. Not, not just that actually it's just as a person you would be attached to people who are physically there so like when hayden or like when your partner is not there it was harder to relate to them like the only thing that clicks us together is the activities that we do mm, yeah pretty much it's just a bonding thing but i guess like another advice is just keep it but um keep updating each other yeah. on what you've been through on your day yeah that's quite important otherwise you're like you won't know who your partner is anymore yeah yeah that's true yeah you would be you know You'll be so lost, you know, in your own world that you might not be able to see the, the other person's world or like you might not be able to share. So that's, I think, one of the flaw of long distance relationship. So not everyone is able to handle the, you know, the hardship. Mm. Yeah, then... we had struggles, so many struggles. Yeah, there's a yeah. few conflicts. 
Yeah, but then we tried to, you know, try to overcome it in some ways. <laughs> For tax. Yeah, in our, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, in our own ways. But whatever it is, you guys really need to have that really strong foundation of trust. Like, I don't think... For us, the conflicts was mostly about growing as a different person mm -hmm. and like not being able to relate physically, not like not being able to be there physically, you get me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was mostly our problem. We didn't really have issues with other people like you, like we don't have any like sort of like jealousy problem or anything. <laughs> Yeah, Hayden did, so. but he was more mostly. It wasn't like a bad jealousy. It was more like because I was very social. I was hanging out a lot with other people, so I didn't make enough time for Hayden, which caused one of the conflicts that we had. So that's why, like, over time, we learned how to cope with our own long distance issue, which is you know make time for your partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep communicating. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's like so much things you can do for that, like, especially in this time of um, like age. Mm. Like back then, I can't imagine how people deal with long distance. Yeah, you might just want to send letters and then like email. This. Well, email is still okay. You would is get that, it like immediately, but like feels letters compared to like messaging. Yeah, is that so delayed? Yeah, so I guess yeah. For now, for whatever it is just keep talking to your partner. Yeah, mm. I think back then people had to use international phone calls as well. Yeah, that, that probably costs a lot, I assume. Yeah, I think that type back then, I think to to be in a cross country relationship, it would probably be really hard if you don't have the internet or mm. take advantage of what you have now. Yeah, basically. Lucky you, young children, <laughs> young, <laughs> young kids. Youngsters. Yeah, what's next? Hmm. Yeah, we talked about how to resolve conflicts. And then, yeah, make plans. Like, always plan. Plan ahead what you want to do with your relationship, What you when you want to visit your partner. Save up a lot of money, like, beforehand. I was working, like, multiple jobs to come here to the UK to visit at that time. Yeah. Yeah, just... Don't forget to visit your partner, really. Mm. <laughs> at least, like, if you can't visit due to, you know, money, at least have the thought of it. Just do it when it's possible. Yeah, just yeah. try your best and, you know, make effort. Because in any relationship, you still need the effort. Like, you still need to show at least some sort of effort. Otherwise, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna be able to commit to the relationship in the long run. So, like... Say, you know, like I always tell Hayden or like I always tell my partner that sometimes it's not what the thing that the end result that we want it's the idea of it. Like at least to say like, oh, I want to do this and you try and make plans for it rather than, you know, just why you keep on playing with your hair. It's too long. <laughs> yeah. At least like, you know, try and work your way to do it rather than you know not even doing anything or like just kind of leaving it be yeah keep at it and then you'll be married yeah <laughs> like how we are yeah you reach our stage now we're like nearly one year of marriage this time last year we were panicking doing our visas and stuff to get married mm -hmm. yeah it was really hard. Even planning for marriage was really hard. Like, let alone, you know. Just we get to that stuff. Yeah. Another video probably. But yeah, that's some like a summary of long distance relationship. It, like, the whole idea is for you guys to, like, you know, to understand is just keep talking to your partner and find ways to adapt to that lifestyle because it's not easy and it will never be easy but you know trust is very important like, you always need to trust each other but one thing for sure once you are able to be with your partner it's hard to go back to the habit of long distance again.
like no. now because we spent so much time together mm-hmm. we we've been having pla- like i've been planning to go back myself alone to malaysia during like this pandemic because so like, i i'm feeling i really homesick but then like you know the idea of us being apart again even though we've done it before is it it makes it 10 times harder you get me mm. yeah. it's make it to go back hmm? that experience yes yeah but yeah a uh, long distance relationship is going to be worth it especially with people that actually appreciate your time and appreciate your presence that's the thing that you know that develops in your relationship when you appreciate that person more you would love that person more and you would definitely realize how important having you know having that physical connection why does it sound fat i don't know but yeah mm. that would be yeah. that's, that's our advice to you guys it's a couple of kids for us yeah. okay yeah so i hope you guys are doing well during this time i'm glad that malaysia is doing you know amazing safest yeah the one of the, the best countries country, so. yeah congratulations malaysia malaysia boleh boleh yeah. go yeah okay hey well no it's can. actually can why can it's both no it's actually just can malaysia can yeah <laughs> so like malaysia can do it that's what it says so thank you so much for all the new viewers all the new people that like you know following our instagram our youtube channel sending us a lot of like really nice messages we really appreciate it uh we're doing well alhamdulillah it's okay yeah we're managing yeah. so far so we're getting better and we're trying to get back to our feet we hope we can make more content and you know thank you so much wherever you are stay safe Thank you for all those that called me Opa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, okay. know, don't know how that happened. Yeah, and he's wearing his proud possession shirt. The chimmy shirt that everyone likes, you know, and he likes it the most. A lot of people like, yeah. recognize it, I'm surprised. Yeah, Army is like... Oh, a, true. What are you on about? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, no. Okay, bye.